smoking, uh, boy, my reputation's at risk here. <laughs> Some, uh, Waffle House from the tinderbox. Probably loaded with burly. There's black stuff in there, too. Leads me to believe it's Cavendish. The, uh, tin aroma, bag aroma, is, uh, amazingly like a house of pancakes. <laughs> Amazingly sweet, kind of cinnamony, uh, yeasty. How do they do that? I don't know. That's an art, I'm sure. One that I'll never participate in. Well, I'm usually into non-aromatic tobaccos. But my friend Tom shared with me um, a big grocery sack of aromatic, mostly aromatic tobaccos that he didn't think he'd get around to smoking, so he very generously shared those with me, which we'll make good use of somehow. But um, what it does is it lets you try blends you would never, ever try <laughs> otherwise. There's one called Washington Cherry in there. I mean, it just like, pow, knocks your socks off um, with how overloaded with cherry it is. And yet, you know, I smoked a bowl of that, and it wasn't as terrible as I thought. I could, and I could almost, <laughs> almost, with a little imagination, taste the cherry. You know, there was, it was just kind of a smooth creaminess um, without being distinctly cherry. It's funny how your taste buds don't pick up the enormity of that casing. <laughs> but, uh, the trick for me is finding a pipe to smoke it in that I don't mind ghosting, you know, with something pretty powerful like this. So this is a uh, a vintage big pipe. Uh, I believe these are carved in North Carolina uh, inexpensive pipes like uh, step above maybe in the same league as a basket pipe. Which can be good smoking pipes. You know, it's, it's nice. It's uh, actually decent sized. Uh, it smokes well. You know, this kind of myth about the really expensive... Of course, I don't have any really expensive pipes. I mean, my Hackerts are probably the most expensive pipes I've got. And they smoke really well. But I, I think you can make an inexpensive pipe smoke well uh, by drilling out the shank to 530 seconds. Um, honestly, that's about it. It's more, you know, how a pipe draws, I think. And then this shape, these uh, billiard shapes just generally smoke pretty well if you smoke them instead of talking like them. I mean, there is just a hint of that waffle house aroma happening. So, there was one that was like entirely burly. <laughs> it was like, ah. but I'm going to try it. You know, I mean, you got to re examine your assumptions every now and again. And, uh,. What a great way to do it, is these little dabs of tobaccos that, um, first of all, you'd never buy. And it's not enough to, you know, to store, really. So, smoke them, try them, or just share them, you know, among your buddies. So, yeah, good 
smoking. So, uh, 